Uh, hey guys, what's going on? So, I wasn't planning on talking about this, and then, uh, what ended up happening was I got two of the modifiers, and now I understand how they work, so that gave me a reason to talk about co-op. Um, so, they added a ton of, uh, positive modifiers, and they didn't add any negative modifiers, which is amazing, because more positive modifiers is always a better thing, um, and... I remember when I was reading this uh, prior to the patch notes coming out, uh, or when the patch notes came out, uh, and when the, like the everything was leaking and everything, and I didn't completely understand how this works. And now that I've used them in game, uh, like again, this is just me uh, patting myself on the back for not making a video speculating on how these work, and then actually actively knowing how these work. Um, I really like them. Um, I think that if you can't pass uh, co-op by yourself, uh, this is going to help. Um, if you could pass co-op, if you can pass co-op by yourself, none of this is going to matter. None of this is new information. But I think that if you do have the ability to do these things, um, I think that it will, it'll, it's, it's a fun little challenge for you. Um, so most of these are the same. And the way that they work is, um, your field is going to get splashed with, uh, modifiers. Um, so in barrels of, barrel of acids case, um, your field will splash with a bunch of green dots, and um, and all of these work the same. So it's collect poison uh, for the tie for the trap by merging the marked unit, absorbing them. Absorbing them is obviously uh, using a scrapper on them or increasing their rank. So any of doing any of those th three things um, will collect the barrel of acid, um, and the um, so what ends up happening is if you can get the required amount, um, a trap will linger until the end of battle. Until the end of battle doesn't mean until the end of that round. It literally means until the end of the game, until the end of all of your co-op stages. So it's actively kind of important that you get these because it will help your entire game. So all of the, the way that these work, um, this uh, barrel of acid um, will decrease the armor of the monsters. That will be at the front of your... Um, of the of the gate that the monsters are coming out of so as soon as they're coming out they're all they're automatically being decreased um mortar uh it dam uh it you collect mortars um and then it damages it lingers until the end of battle damaging mon bosses and mini bosses and also stuns them so that one's really good demon summoning is the only one that's different we'll get back to that uh mana totem uh you increase all mana received i get that in my game um so you'll see that one uh, totem of Power, um, it periodically increases the damage dealt by four of your units. Um, you'll see this little guy pop up on the screen, and then four of your units will have power modifiers. Um, and then Tome of Protection, you'll see this little guy come on screen, and then four of your units will have basically like a mermaid kind of shield. Um, demon Summoning is the only one that's different. Uh, it summons a demon that moves towards the portal, and it deals damage on impact. Uh, the damage... Uh, it's whenever you use your hero ability. So however often you obtain that, it basically summons a thing and it just travels like an alchemist, uh, an alchemist token or the, um, acrid waste token from Scrapper. If you've seen that before, um, when there are more than 10, uh, it, the damage dealt against mo bosses is greatly reduced. Um, when there are more than 10 monsters on the path, the hero's ability recovers faster. So that's also just another aspect of why that's a positive modifier as well. Um, but I get both of those. Um, I get two of them actually in my game. Um, and so that was really the, my, the, my push to actively do this. Um, and then you'll, you'll be able to see my new version of like co-op, um, Blade Dancer gameplay uh, with Scrapper Talents. Uh, for Scrapper Talents, I'm running uh, Scrapper Mall Promotion by Merit um, and Acrid Waste. Um, I, I really like I really like it. Uh, you're getting a bonus off of the scrap the uh, the the uh, recycler. Um, with the recycler, you're getting a 30% bonus every time you eat something with the recycler. And then with the Acrid Waste, um, when the Acrid Waste touches something, which is the little blue guy on the side. Um, when it is directly above something, um, that thing is getting 13% and it stacks up to two times. So if you actively um, eat two things um, at the same time, and something has the ability to get a 26% debuff. When you add that with like your Knight Statue Soul of a Warrior, when you add that with Chemist, um, with, with Chemist just doing its thing, um, technically in the regular version of this deck, 
uh, for PvP, you take out Harlequin, um, and then you put in, uh, I think Sharpshooter is pretty strong in that spot. Uh, you can run one Sharpshooter, one Chemist on the field, and then your normal, like, four, four Blade Dancer setup, or four and then three Blade Dancer setup, um, which is what I'm building here. And then, uh, you can do that. So right now, uh, you can see, if you've been noticing, uh, this is Totem of, um, the Mana Totem. Um, if you look at my mana right now, it's I have I now have a times 1.2 modifier. Uh, that is what I will get for the uh, for the rest of the game. Um, and then it'll stay there. Every time you collect one, you get the modifier. Um, and then when if you get all eight, which is what I just did, this little guy pops up, and then you have the times 1.2 modifier for the rest of the game. And so I think it's good. I think it's something that you can you can strive for, um, and especially if you can't just beat this by yourself, uh, I think that it's something that is worth it. Um, in terms of what I think about co-op, I like that it's shorter. Um, I I did an entire video where I talked about this, and I just didn't. I never posted it. I just deleted it. Uh, oh, uh, I'll, I'll talk about this first. Um, so right now I have the uh, second modifier, which is Barrel of Acid. Um, you'll see that. Um, every so often the screen gets splashed. Um, basically you want to eat the ones that- or combine or eat the ones, uh, that you don't want. So right here I'm just kind of waiting and hoping that some of these, like, outer things get, um, splashed as well. I'm trying to strategically wait. So like the one in the corner, I can eat that one, and then now I'm at three out of six. You'll notice the uh, the the um, acid puddle at the beginning of the gate where the monsters come out um, because I do obviously uh, get all six. Sometimes you just kind of have to wait. Uh, right here, I could merge the two and then merge the two up and then collect it from the top uh, scrapper because I can obviously merge it back down, so that's not a problem. Um, I was very scared. I was I only need two more, but I don't want to eat my blade dancers and I. And so I was waiting for it to hopefully splash something um, that is that I don't care about, like these two, like the two chemists on the two sides or the blade dancer on the corner. Uh, I thought that if I summoned in uh, that and then just waited, it would probably hit those. If it didn't, I was probably going to eat the level two, but luckily it does. I can eat that one, eat that one, and then the barrel of acid drops, and then everything that comes out, you're just insta killing. Um, that bedlam got hit by a double acrid waste and the, um, and the modifier of the barrel of acid also decreasing the armor. Um, it's crazy. It's, you can do crazy amounts of damage. Um, so yeah, if you get those modifiers, um, I would highly recommend trying to, uh, to do the, the little mini game challenge that it makes you do. Um, because it is... Uh, it, it gives you a benefit for the rest of the game. If it was just for that round, I don't think I would recommend it. But the fact that you get these for the rest of the game is insanity. Um, so why why not? Yeah, like if you can do it, like why not? Um, right here, I'm basically trying to uh, do double stacks on uh, the center. Um, I tried to do it for a little while until I I switch I switch focus to uh, getting my growth tiles. Um, I love doing growth tiles with uh, Scrapper. It's just, an, it's just the easiest way to do it, and that's basically what I'm going to do for the rest of this game. Um, I just, I, I scrapper, but I do, like, efficient scrappering where I'm always trying to either build uh, stacks on the, the night statues, or I'm trying to build uh, growth tile stacks. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I like that it's, uh, it, it's, it's much shorter. That's, that's, the, the only thing that co-op needed to be was shorter. Um, you always wanted to uh, co-op with somebody who was also a DPS deck, because as a person who has the ability to, to beat at any um, co-op level just by myself, um, I the only thing that could help me was making it shorter. So having another DPS person, uh, when it was 40 rounds, made it like almost half the time. Um, it would take me like, I, I want to say like 30 minutes for me to just like play it out by myself. Um, and so that's why I, that's specifically why I built the Blade Dancer deck. It's a very self-sufficient deck, especially if you run Elegant Parry. Um, 
if you run elegant parry, you can you could basically just level up your cards uh, to like 20 rounds before when it was 40 rounds. You could basically level up to like round 20 and then sit back and do nothing for 20 rounds. And that's basically what I was doing. And even just in doing that, it was so exhausting just to like wait and then to like start a new game and play for 20 rounds and then wait for 20 rounds. Um, it was just such a long process. Um, so the fact that they changed it to 25 rounds and made the, and made everything, it, it makes everything much quicker. And that was the only thing that I really wanted. What I would hope for um, that I that I would appreciate in this game a lot of people have uh, commented on like a sandbox mode they kind of want a mode where you can pick the bosses for every round uh, they want to like you they want like the ability to just create anything like make any deck make any levels use any card I think that that's I, I don't know why they wouldn't put that in the game um, but I don't think they're ever going to put that in the game. And the other thing that people ever that people always ask for is endless co-op. And I think that they would also never put that in the game because that was in the game and they took it out. I'm not saying that they could never they that they could never bring it back. I'm just saying that if they took it out, there's probably a reason why they took it out. Um, and I feel like if they brought it back, um, the, the then there's like the the argument of what are the rewards. And I feel like either, one, there would be no rewards um, a after a certain point. Like, maybe you did the first 25 rounds and you got the rewards of whatever the max uh, current level is. Um, but then every round after that, there were no rewards. Like, you only got what you got here, right? Um, and I would argue that PvP is endless co-op. Now that toxic decks basically aren't a thing... Um, if you if you when you play PvP, that is essentially endless co-op. You're you're fighting against somebody and you can either outlast them, which is good for you, or you can't outlast them, at which point that is when you would have died during co-op. <laughs> um it could be argued that like co-op in co-op somebody could shaman you and you would be better than you would be in you know trying to upgrade yourself that i guess you could argue that um but i just don't think that they would ever bring it back because of rewards um people have suggested that there would be no rewards after a certain point like you would get these rewards and then you know like beyond that you would get nothing um and i think that if you got nothing i don't think people would like that either like, I think that if somebody, like, got to a thousand rounds or something, they would be angered that they got to a thousand rounds and just got the rewards of what level, you know, uh, co-op level 13 is. Um, so, the only thing that I would have ever recommended, either, uh, you know, besides those two uh, things that everybody keeps bringing up, is I wish they would, they would just increase co-op levels like right now it only goes to co-op level 13 and they just stopped making co-op dungeons um i don't understand why we're not at co-op level 50 right now why the rewards haven't gotten better and better and better um and it doesn't need to be incrementally better like it's i'm not asking for like oh every single time you beat it you get a crystal right I, it doesn't need to be incrementally better it could be like things that you know it could be gold it could be extra gold and I don't know if that would break the game. Maybe, maybe they think that it would break the game. Like young, like new accounts would would earn too fast or something because they would just be being they would just be carried by old accounts. But you can like gate that with like crit damage, right? Like maybe you can only access round 50 if you have 4,000 plus crit, right? And then at that point, you probably don't need gold. You're just doing it for the challenge. Um, I feel like they, that they should probably think about adding more co-op levels. Um, I think that that would be a good alternative. I think that the idea that every single time they add in a new unit and everybody, the crit percentage, the max crit percentage keeps getting higher, everything gets easier if nothing changes. Um, and that's why I'm still able to be level 13 co-op without anybody um, helping me. Like, what if I, with a max deck, what if I, would like, with this deck, what if I couldn't beat this? What if I needed somebody to shaman me? Or what if I needed somebody to use clock uh, to make me more powerful, use witch, right? Co-op isn't a cooperative experience because there are so many good things in in this in this game. And Blade Dancer isn't even one of the best things. And I'm still able to beat this. 
Um, I think that if they made more, uh, more floors, um, if we were in, you know, floor 30, floor 40, floor 50, floor 100, right? Um, I think that that would be a much better change than trying to, like, do a completely different mode, like a sandbox mode or a, um, infinite co-op. Um, but that would just be my suggestion. Anyway, uh, that's my, those are my thoughts on, on, uh, 24.0, uh, co-op changes. Um, I'll catch you guys next video.